there been a, 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 any kind of a dramatic shift on the uh, House Labor Committee that would make a, a min minimum wage bill more realistic this year than it's been in the past? And have you consulted with NFIB or other uh, people who have, who have killed it past year? Well, we continue to work with all stakeholders and all legislators, um, and we know uh, that this issue uh, is supported by an overwhelming majority of people in Louisiana. Uh, that's true for not just the minimum wage, but also making sure we address the gender wage gap. Uh, and, and in fact, if you look across the country, uh, the most conservative states have routinely voted in modest but meaningful increases in the minimum wage. So I don't believe that this is one of those issues where you have a big a difference of opinion between conservatives and liberals or moderates, whatever labels you might want to put on people. Um, and so it's, it's my hope and, and certainly my expectation uh, that individuals will do uh, what is right. You know, the, the case only becomes more compelling, not less, each year uh, for an increase in the minimum wage and, and addressing uh, pay equity issues. Uh, so we're going to continue to work uh, with those individuals. I'm going to stop short of predicting what they're going to do, um, but just tell you that, that their unreasonableness on this will not deter me from doing what I believe is right for the people of Louisiana, doing what I told the people of Louisiana I was going to do when I ran for government. I mean, it was no secret that I was going to ask for a modest but meaningful increase to the minimum wage. And that we were going to uh, push for a fix uh, to the gender pay equity problem. <coughs> so we're going to continue to do that. And with a goal towards being successful, not just towards raising the issue. Melinda? 